This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome back to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk all about WordPress and today we are gonna see how you can use a donation plugin called GiveWP to get fundraising and donation on your own website and how you can customize it and even use different kind of templates, see the reports, who have donated and what type of platform they are using to donate most like this. So let's get started. So first thing first, you have to go to your dashboard and in plugin, click on add new to search for GitWP and install it. So here, type in GitWP. It's a free plugin. It will provide Stripe and other payment gateways. Click on install now for GitWP donation plugin and fundraising platform. And after installation, you have to click on activate. After activation of the plugin, you will see this page. You have to click on start. And here it will ask you some questions. So this is just the onboarding process. So let's get ahead of it. You can even skip and continue the processes. You can choose the currency your goal and see the form preview how it looks like so for now it will show you only this template but when you are creating a new form you will see three templates available and click on continue now this is for their reference only to show you the add-ons that are required for you so let's so this is the setup page. You will see PayPal and Stripe payment method and they can even accept the donation via card and even on offline marketplaces or your own store. So they will send a email regarding it to the donor. So let's go to all forms. So here you will see all of your forms created and their short code. So you can include this short code in any of your page to show this form. And you will see the status published. So let's add our own form by clicking on add form. So now it will ask you for title. So let's give it a title and here you will be shown three templates so you can select any of these it has the image and other two does not have any image on it so let's select legacy form next is the display style and how your forms look like you can leave it to default if you want and after that let's go to duration option so here you can select the donation type multi-level donation or set donation so in multi-level donation user will be uh, user will be asked to donate a certain amount or they can even choose the amount or type the amount they want to donate so here you will see donation limit maximum amount minimum and maximum amount next is amount text so you can change the text also how it looks on your form and this is the donation level so these are all the options shown to the user you can even add a donation level by clicking on add level and you can add your own level and you can show the text what should be displayed 
and you can even make it default donation. After that, it's form field. So here you will see all of the form fields and how you want to show it like company donation. You want some DP to appear after first name or last name. Anonymous donation allow your users to donate anonymously. You can even enable it or disable it or set it as global option. Donor comments allowing your donors to comment. So anonymous users comment will not be displayed. But if they are not anonymous, the comment will be displayed. You can allow guest donation and you can even get the user to register on your site also if they are not registered. Next is donation goal. So what you want to receive. So you can enable it and see amount raise percentage is number of donation and number of donors. These four options are present for your goal format. So you can set the goal amount here and you can choose the progress bar color also. Next is what you want to do after this amount is achieved. So let's close the form and display this message. You can even customize this message also. Next is terms and condition. You can leave it to global option and you can choose to customize it also. So this is the text shown. You can even edit this text. Next is form grid. So there are two options for form grid. Either default option or customize. So in default option different pages are shown. And in customize you have to type in the link where the user will be redirected. Next is offline donation. So if you want to get offline donation, the email will be sent to the user regarding it. So how they can do offline donation, write a payable to site name and on memo line of check indicate the donation is for and mail your check to your mailing address. So these are these all are used to show your mailing address site name. So you can even type in your store location or use VV maps to show you the location of your store and get the donation on your store also. And next is email notification. So these are the four notifications that the donor will get. New donation, donor received, new offline donation and offline donation instructions. You can edit any of this by clicking on customize. And you will see all of the default settings and you can change anything in it. So after doing all this, what you have to do is click on publish. So now the demo form will be published on the website. And you can see demo forms in all forms also. You can even edit it or duplicate it or send it to trash also. Here you will see the revenue and donation and goal. So let's include this in one of our page. And now on view page, I'll see my form. So this is in test mode right now. And I'll, the user will get to select the options and how they want to donate online or offline. and click on donate now to donate it so this is the donation receipt it will be emailed to the donor also and now on your dashboard under donation report you will be able to see the report of the donation. In 
which form how many donation you get which platform is used the most all of this you can see right here on reports you can choose the reports day week month year and all time option to see the report of divided by day or by week or by month so here on the report you will see the revenue for period how many donations you get and how you get it here it will show you total revenue all of the donations payment method used payment status form performance top donors who has donated the most donation activity so all of this are shown in reports and in donations you will see the donations then by each user their name and the form they have donated to and on donors you will be able to see all of the donors so here yeah, i am only the donor here in settings you can customize give wp even more like in general setting you can configure the pages so these are the pages automatically created next is payment gateway you can configure the payment gateway here You can even disable the test mode by clicking on disable option here. Next is default options like name, title, prefix, company name, last name, field, anonymous donation. So these are all default settings. Here on emails, you will see all of the emails that are sent. And you can click on edit donation receipt or edit donation option to change how the email looks like. Next is license. So if you purchase this premium plan, you have to enter your license here. Next is advanced settings. So in advanced settings, you will see remove data on installation or setup page to show up or not on first installation. You can even clear the cache of GiveWP. And in the gear green donation, it's a plugin that's, that is add on to this plugin. So for that, you have to purchase this premium plan or and then add this add on. So there are multiple items provided by GiveWP. And the last thing is tools. So here you will see exportation of the data of the donations and revenue or the reports will be exported. You can even import the data and you can see the logs. all of the logs and api data and system info these things are common side tools you can configure the apis here you can see the database so all the things done on gave wp will be shown here And this is the system info. So where the which site it is running on, which WP version it's running on, all of the things like this. So it's a very simple plugin to create your own giveaway on your own site very easily and very effectively. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to Educate WordPress.